You're watching the crossover. So first of all, we're here to talk about the trade safe hub. And I'd love, first of all, let me just introduce it briefly in my own fashion before letting you guys just describe the business itself. But uh, Jeremy is just an absolute stalwart of this hobby. He's one of the all-time great content creators. He, he's like uh, he's like the John Morant of content. You know, he's been in the league for a few years, but man, he's got all the hype. So, Jeremy, it's great to have you. Steve, I had the pleasure of getting to know you on Clubhouse. You seem like a stand-up guy, man. And if you're in business with Jeremy, that, that says enough for me, buddy. Uh, Thank so you. Welcome both you guys to the crossover. And I'll, I'll leave it to, to one of the two of you to just kind of please explain what trade safe is. Steve, I'll, I'll, I'll start because I think that, you know, some of the, the questions that, that you, you guys, you guys, Chris and Josh may have, I'll let Steve answer. Cause he's uh, Steve is, Steve is the founder of trade safe. He brought me on board 10 months ago and we've been working on this uh, together along with the rest of the team since uh, I mean, Steve's been in it for over a year and again, me for 10, uh, 10 months. So, what it is really is it's a service where, you know, we all, we all have been in the position where we've tried to do trades with people we've met on any social media platform or marketplace, peer to peer platform or marketplace that doesn't have any controls. So we're always, you know, you're looking for vouchers, you need a reputation. And even if you find a voucher, even if you have a reputation, you don't really know that you're going to receive the cards that you traded for. And that's, a, that's an issue. Someone even put a, an Instagram story out the other day that was like, you know, I had a vouch on the guy and I didn't get the cards. Like I'm, you know, it's so hard to trade online. And that falls right into our wheelhouse because what we're offering is a middleman service. Trade safe is basically a middleman service where two people who meet on any social media platform uh, remotely, you know, obviously not at a card show, you're right there, you're going to trade. Um, we will, we will receive both ends of the deal at one of our hubs. We have three hubs throughout the U S so easier to ship close by. And once we receive both ends of the deal, we will then verify, make sure that the other party is uh, that we received what they're expecting. And then we, once everyone's verified, we will ship out the cards to the appropriate recipients, uh, insured, packaged nicely, all that. So it's really just to make sure that two, again, it, it's pretty simple. Two people who don't know each other, maybe don't trust each other. You know, we like to say, you know, I trust you, but let's use trade safe anyway. You know, like, let's, just, <laughs> let's just take that extra step. You know, our fees are low flat fee ten dollars per side you can do you can do buy sells as well you know if you want if i want to sell you a card uh for a hundred bucks let's say um what the, how trade safe handles the payment we call it a peer-to-peer -peer payment because we do not touch the money therefore we're not involved in the 1099s no tax reporting nothing like that but if you decide to sell someone a card for a hundred bucks we will then verify that the recipient so you so if i'm going to sell you a card chris i'm going to send my card to trade safe then you're gonna send me money. Then I'm gonna tell TradeSafe, I received Chris's money. I verified, I send you a, a screenshot of my PayPal, the wire transfer, my Venmo, Cash App, whatever it is. You send, you send me that image, you send TradeSafe that image, we verify, and then we send you the card. We send your buyer the card. So you can never, if you use this service, you can never enter into a trade or a, or a purchase online, send your money and not get your card. And if the seller or the other side of the trade doesn't send trade safe the money or the other or the card you're expecting well we're not going to release the card to them or the money so we're going to hold it, then we're going to send it back to you so you don't lose it, it's like a no lose situation so that's what it is and uh you know sorry to keep on going here steve I'll, I'll stop in a second but i've owned a, a a hobby message board community called hobbyinsider.net for 10 years this year it's 10 years this month actually and when i first acquired it people were often asking me because I was trusted because I owned it if I would middleman deals for them. So I knew when Steve approached me and Steve found me through sports cards live and you know, he just, he reached out. We had, we had a zoom call and I'm like, dude, I love the idea because I've been asked to do this several times for free. And I've done, I've done the odd favor, right? I, I've done favors, but it's like the hobby needs something like this. So I was like, bro, I, I love it. You know, and I, we got to know, we've gotten to know each other better and better built out the team, we've added pieces where we need them, and uh, and here we are with our beta launch. Uh, we wanted to launch an app, but that we're not, we don't have investors, it's just us, so 
We did a soft beta launch with a website. We want to prove the concept. We want to get some business under our belts and then we'll, and then we will develop an app. It's already, it's already like, and I'll let, I'll, Steve, I'll let you jump in unless you guys have any questions, but that's all planned and kind of ready to go to a developer. Yeah. Well, Jeremy, the passion shines through, man. Thank you for breaking that down. Go ahead, Steve, take it away, bud. What's, what's going I, on? I, I don't, I don't know if there's anything else to fill in. I mean, he, uh, he said it all, but first and foremost, thank you uh, to both you guys uh, for having us on. So uh, it's a pleasure, obviously, um, you know, Chris, I've gotten to know you through uh, Clubhouse. And uh, so it's nice to, uh, it's nice to talk to Josh as well. And uh, we were trying to figure out a way that we could trade cards plus the team for Josh, but we can't quite figure out what the, what the equal balance is, but uh, you know, <laughs> Obviously, Josh, you know, I mean, it, it's tough, right? I mean, you, you know, you've done it. So, you know, obviously for us, I think the easiest thing to do was to go into a beta, test it out, get all the kinks out. And really what we, what we discovered by launching was, you know, we could do this whole thing because we have three hubs in the U.S., um, one in Oregon, one in Florida, one in New Hampshire. So you don't have to pick the same hub, you know, they're set up so that you can save money by, you know, if you're in LA and you want to sh ship to Oregon, that's going to save you shipping money. Um, but we thought, you know what, let's just test it. Let's, let's launch the site. Let's, we have the hubs up and running. We have all the insurance surveillance and everything else. So we said, you know what, let's, let's do it. Let's test the concept before we, we go to the next step. So, and, and so far uh, the response has been amazing. I mean, one week in, it's been uh, it's been absolutely uh, the hobby. I think has has uh, come back to us and said, "Hey, th this is a great idea." Yeah, we well, and we congrats. So, I, so, thanks, Chris. I just want to add that you know we we've launched with a, a pretty simple website. You know, it, it, it's 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 got everything it needs for now. It's going to get better. You know, I believe in continuous improvement with everything I do in my career. So we're always going to be getting better, just like Card Ladder is always getting better. We want to. We, we look up to you guys. We want to uh, evolve, at, you know, at that same sort of pace and just always improve the service and, and add things that are going to make the hobby uh, just understand and realize that this is really beneficial and, and helpful. So, but we also, we also wanted to launch sooner than later because, to be honest, we, we just think it's such a good idea that we want to make sure we had the first mover advantage, right? We didn't want to wait. Someone else doesn't wait. Oh, crap. Why didn't we launch faster? So, we launched and uh, and now we're we're open for business and uh, you know I I, it, I couldn't be pr like it, you know you you mentioned the passion I have and I appreciate that Chris because there's nothing that, that it just makes me so uh, proud and happy uh, of of our whole team and the idea that we can help the hobby here like our our my fellow hobbyists and collectors um, we hope to save you headaches and heartaches and stress and all that stuff so really happy about that. That's terrific, man. So, look, you've been in beta for, like, about a week or so. You know, what is – has it been an overwhelming demand? Have you guys gotten any idea of, of kind of turnaround times? I mean, what can a collector expect if they send you a DM tomorrow or an email and say, hey, I've, I've got a deal worked out and we'd like to use you guys? What's, to, what's the process like from a practical point of view from that step? Yeah. So yeah. – um, Sure. So basically, as soon as somebody says they got a deal and they go ahead and send us that that trade agreement through orders at uh, Trade Safe Hub, we basically we, we collect the payment. We instantly go in and give them a shipping label, and off they go. So that's basically the first step. After that, as soon as the cards, both parties, let's just say if it's a buy and sell, and we receive the card, then we're going to verify payment. Um, just a a, a good little note to, to add is uh, every card that comes in here, one, all of our hubs are all partner owned. So, you know, we're not in some warehouse somewhere or um, everything's under surveillance. And what's, uh, one thing we came up with, which we thought was a great idea was as soon as we get ready to open up a package, we video record everything from the time we cut the seal and, and look at the, the invoice and look at the cards until we go ahead pack it back up. So that whole process, believe it or not, and the workflow that we created, and Josh, you'd know this, right? If like we had a mobile app, it could just be snap a picture, use the APIs, the cards are on their way, we can track all the, all the shipping and everybody has full transparency and peer-to-peer -peer payments are made. Um, 
but literally within one business day, it, it takes to, to get the cards, do a simple transaction, put them back in the box, let the people know that everything is set and off they go. So put them cool put them back in put them back in a new box with nice packaging. That's right. I did I did see a question for turnaround time. It's going to depend. Like if both if you if two people did agree on a deal, one guy gets us his end in two days, the other guy gets us his end in ten days. Well, that's going to be a ten day turnaround. We cannot. Well, I mean, it goes against everything we're about. Ship out the cards without receiving both ends first. That's the whole core function that we're offering. So you know, but. You're going to be able to, especially when we have the, it's all, the app is is built out or will be built out, but it's planned to be built, built out so that you could log in anytime and see what the status is of, of your order or of your of your deal. When, as soon as we receive the the other end, both ends, you're going to get a notification. You know, TradeSafe Hub acknowledges we've received your end. You know, now the other guy will get one saying, please, please log in, verify that's what you ordered. You go and you, you, you verify that's what you ordered. That lets us know that we can now send out side A. If side B does the same thing, now we can send out side B. They both match up. We ship out. We ship out. We ship out fully insured. We have our own insurance coverage. So I saw a question go through asking about insurance. What if it gets lost? Well, if something gets lost to the hub, there's nothing we can do about that. I mean, that's that's a risk that does that does exist. But at least the other side of the deal doesn't have to pay the price. It's the sender that pays that price unfortunately but what i don't know that we can sort of solve that but what we definitely have solved and i'll let steve address that if i'm misspeaking at all but what we've definitely solved is from the hub to the recipient that is covered by our insurance we don't need to worry we don't need to rely on the the postal service um, insurance for that but i'll ask steve to supplement that because this yeah. is his specialty yeah so basically as soon as you know you have the option of buying insurance on your package up to fifteen thousand dollars our insurance right now in the beta covers us up to twenty thousand dollars so that's basically up to 20 cards each side um and so if you decide to insure your cards or you don't you know let's just say you don't want to insure your cards then you're taking that risk on um but once once we take possession of those cards straight from you know the post office until we return them to the post office they're completely insured so so we took on that cost because we wanted to obviously you know pass it on to the collector right no we don't want to pass it on the collector we want to save them a little money and the same goes with our fee too like some people said geez you know this is a no-brainer if you guys you know somebody wants to do a private sale on instagram facebook or twitter and you know hey i i need a vouch well, now you can buy up to 20 cards or sell up to 20 cards. The fee is $10. So again, we want to put money back into collector's pockets. It's, you know, if it takes us all of three to five minutes to, to verify everything um, and then inspect, you know, we also, I think you guys would like to know this. We also do a very thorough inspection of the slabs as well. Um, so that way, you know, we're looking for tampering. We're looking to make sure nothing is, you know, looks funny. And if we do notice it, we'll, we'll let the other party know before we proceed with that, you know, with the shipments. That's terrific. That's hey, Josh, let me give you a chance to ask a question or two, bud. Yeah. I was going to ask who pays for the second shipment. So the second shipment is done. They pay twice, essentially. So when they initially send their their fee in for shipping, it's a double it's a double uh, payment. Oh, so I see. So they're buying two labels. Yeah. They're buying two labels. Yep. Exactly, it. and it's at a discounted rate. And that was the other reason why we wanted to have the three hubs so that we could save people money, so they're not shipping all the way across the U.S. And it and it also will arrive to the hub a lot faster. Yeah, the other question Nick asked it already in the chat, but can we get this? Can we get these sales reported? Are these going to be like, are you guys going to log these sales? <laughs> so actually, great question. A great question. And we actually, I reached out to Chris and said, hey, Chris, do you mind if on the trade agreement, if I put card ladder on there or, you know, data purposes such as card ladder? So, yeah, I mean, this is a great thing, right? We have, this is a trade agreement. It's, you know, it's a, it's a legal binding agreement between two parties. So uh, absolutely, I mean, that falls right into Card Ladder's wheelhouse. And so we know that. And then, you know, I think obviously th the future too would be cool as to, you know, how do you put some values on what was traded, right? So, you know, maybe we, maybe we help uh, Card Ladder become the, the Kelly Blue Book of, of sports cards, right? So now there's a trade, perceived trade-in value of, of cards, which I think 
it, that data would be really cool to look at over time. Yeah, man. And, and just to just to add to that quickly is that for the the parties of the the parties of the deal, the the, the traders, the buy sellers, they would opt in to that to that sharing of the data with Card Ladder because you know privacy concerns and all that, of course. And we know that Card Ladder has very rigid requirements for the information uh, that you guys will that you guys require in order to make a, a transaction pub, you know part of your your public uh, data set. So we yep. want to make sure that we're that we're honoring your requirements and that our customers are aware that we would be sharing that uh, with you if they are willing to opt in, which we hope they would because it's just for the betterment of the hobby. Hey, Jeremy, do you guys think you're going to have more volume of customers who are, because look, I, I recently, I, I'm in the middle of a transaction that's been in underway for about a week. And it's going to be <laughs> consummated next week. That involves, a, it's a super high end deal. And the person who's selling me the card is flying in and um, I'm going to be wiring them money. And so I'm, we, Christina and I, Christina's like giving me this evil eye because I'm using the <laughs> eye instead of the we. We are going to be wiring them the money. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, th that's a very common situation is like there's a deal happening. One party's sending cash and the other party is delivering the card. And I know you mentioned that that's a service as well. Do you have any idea of like how much of this service is going to be cash for card deals where you guys are an intermediary versus trades have you have you thought about that we we have thought we've talked about that a lot because at first the idea was just trades just trades and and then in as as we evolved the idea and continued our discussions it's like no 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 we can handle peer-to-peer -peer payment deals as well like why wouldn't we why limit that right so right so yeah i mean chris i think that's where we could explode I think that's where we could literally explode. You know, there, there are other peer-to-peer -peer platforms out there where two people might find each other and then say, but yeah, we should use TradeSafe instead because uh, for various reasons, you know? So um, I think that could, that could be a, a big deal. Another thing I want to mention is that we're not creating, we're not building a community. You know, we're not, we're not going to have, um, at least not yet, you know, down the road maybe, but our, we're keeping this simple. We are. We want to be. We want to focus in on what our core competency is. We want to perfect the process as best we can, and just focus on that. So we're not building. You know, some people have said, "Well, I, I'd love to be able to upload all my cards I have for trade. People would come and look for them." It's like I said. I said to Steve Irwin, I said, "I don't think we, let's leverage all the other platforms and communities. Let's. We don't need our own. Let's leverage Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, among others." Funny enough, Chris and Josh, I had someone reach out to me on Instagram yesterday saying, hey, I saw your Gretzky OPG 7.5 on, on Card Ladder Showcase. Can we want to <laughs> trade it? And I'm like, there you, go. This, you know, the Card Ladder is another platform that transactions are going to come from. It's just going, it's like someone tried to get one of my cards. So, which I, I no, no deal. It's not, for trade, right? it's not available, but, but that's another place where, where uh, we think we're going to be able to offer value to members, not of the, not of a trade safe community, but of the card ladder community, the YouTube community, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and, 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 and more. So we also want to be able to be the back end. Like if you, if someone is out there right now building a business and they're trying to build a marketplace, let's say, or something like that, but you don't want to get involved with the actual liability, the, 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 mon the movement of the money, um, trade safe's a great option. Let us be your back end. Plug into us. We will support that. We 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 have all that covered for you. So, I think that's where we can see some additional growth down the road. And um, and it, it you know it's almost counterintuitive to say, well, we don't need a community. But I I feel pretty strongly about that. That that it's not that's not our core competent competency. It just adds it just adds more headaches and stuff. So we will focus, we will focus on, on the middleman service. It's similar to an escrow service, but it's not technically escrow because we're not taking a percentage of, of the value. We are just charging a fee. So we, we, we figure we're a middleman service. And, um, and the name came, the name, the story of how we came up with the name, Steve, do you mind if I tell that story? Oh, I, I know you love to, so please share away. <laughs> And guys, kick us off as soon as you want to get on with the crossover. But I'll, so when, when C first approached me, 
Um, he goes, he told me about the idea. I said, well, what's it called? He goes, sports card exchange. And he showed me a logo and I'm, and I, I go, terrible, terrible. I go, I go, <laughs> listen, I go, listen, man, this whole thing is about allowing people to trade safely, trade safe. There's the name. It's called trade safe. He's like, whoa, like epiphany. And now, and that's what it, that's what it's called because it's, it's, it's right in the name, you know? So we're, we're I agree. pretty excited. We're pretty great, excited. And, um, great. Great, Great thank you for this opportunity. Thank oh, you. I, I appreciate you guys coming on. I'm, I'm sure we'll talk to you guys again in the future. You know, you guys are in a beta mode right now. So this is a great opportunity for early adopters to be influential in how this process unfolds and to be, be among the first people to be part of the trade safe uh, service offering. It's just a pretty special opportunity, and I look forward to using it myself uh, in the near future. Thank you guys for coming on. We do have about 100 questions that we're going to try to answer tonight. So <laughs> really Really appreciate you guys coming on, and best of luck. And, and I'm just proud of you guys, and congrats on uh, on the successful Thank launch. Thank you. As well, Thank you both. We really thanks. appreciate you having us, and great to see you guys as always. And to everyone out there, thanks for tuning in. We we appreciate you and the hobby. Appreciate thanks, you. Check guys. out. Uh, you're, you're welcome. Check out Sports Cards Live tomorrow night as well on YouTube, guys. There and you next go. Saturday, and when, special episode on Wednesday. Thanks, Chris. Nice. Awesome. All right. And see Christina. you guys. Bye guys. Good. Bye guys. The crossover. Join the chat and participate live on the crossover every Friday night on Instagram. The crossover. Don't miss it.